to talk more about the heat and some other health headlines. Dr. Kristen England, infectious disease specialist at the Cleveland Clinic. Is it is it this hot in Cleveland right now? What are you folks dealing with? Well, it's not quite as hot as we're seeing across across parts of the country, but it's certainly been a much warmer summer than we've seen in a long time. Yeah. So heat does a lot of things to the body. It's sort of a slow burn, right? You start to notice symptoms over a short period and then a long period of time. What should we be looking for that our body is starting to shut down with the heat? Well, certainly the best way that we get rid of heat is by sweating. So as our blood vessels dilate, it allows sweat to form on the skin. And as if we're in an area where it's dry, that sweat can then evaporate and that allows our body to cool down. If you're in an area where it's more humid, then that sweat can't evaporate and it's a lot harder to cool yourself off. As we start to get warmer, we notice that our heart rate will increase and we have to pump a lot more blood to try and form more sweat to try and then cool our bodies down. So people's heart rate is going to increase if they're unable to cool themselves off. And we're also going to notice that as people sweat more, they're going to get dehydrated. So it, you're going to start to get dizzy when you stand up. So a racing heart and getting dizzy as you're moving positions uh, can certainly be an indication that you're starting to suffer from the heat. Yeah, drink water not only while it's happening, but make sure you're hydrated all the time. The other thing that's happening, doctor, uh, some hospitals in Phoenix are using body bags that are filled with ice for certain people who are having heat stroke or uh, heat related illnesses. Does that work? Is that a good option for people? And is there an at home remedy? if you're in your backyard and you start feeling the same? Certainly. I mean, you can take a plastic bag that you get at a grocery store, fill it with ice, and put it in areas where you especially need to cool it down. And that's often a, under the armpits and certainly across the neck and across your head, but and also in the groin area too. But keeping some ice packs around is not a bad idea if you start to feel like you're getting, uh, like you're starting to get dizzy or getting some headaches too. Yeah, one guy in Death Valley said temperature of 131. He said it felt like he was standing literally next to a heater just out in the open air. A couple other health headlines I want to get your thoughts on. Uh, Houston health officials have declared a syphilis outbreak. Data from the health department shows there's been a 128% increase in cases among women in three years. Both men and women, new infections rose 57% in that same period. Uh, the outbreak mirrors a national trend of rising numbers of sexually transmitted infections. Uh, what's causing this? Uh, what is the data showing? Well, we've certainly been seeing syphilis rising all across the country over a number of years, but it seems to be absolutely exponentially growing right now, as opposed to some of our other sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea and chlamydia that are going up about three or four percent, syphilis is really on the rise. So syphilis can often be transmitted without any symptoms at all. So that's why it's difficult to be able to, to diagnose. And we worry about it certainly in pregnant women because they can pass that along to their children. So if we're not testing pregnant women right at the beginning of their pregnancy and then also later on in their pregnancies as they continue to get exposed through, through sexual encounters, then we might not catch it. It's quite deadly. It can potentially be deadly for, for in, infants and uh, un, the unborn. They can have stillborns um, and miscarriages. And then the children going on who do survive um, can have problems with blindness, uh, with deafness and intellectual disabilities. So it's critically important for any woman who knows that she's pregnant to make sure that her doctor is testing her for syphilis. Thank you for helping us get the message out about this important illness and ways to prevent it. Uh, Dr. Kristen England, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.